call the board meeting to order. We'll stand and be led and pledged by Mr. Lewis. Aye. Co-chairperson of the District Health and Safety Committee with Mr. Woodhull and at one time with Mrs. Rash. So I've been doing this for quite a few years. This year we would really like to recognize the creativity of our students. Every year the District Health and Safety Committee has a special project and we feel that hand washing is extremely essential for the children to recognize how important it is in their daily life. So we sponsor the poster contest, and we are very fortunate that Marshall and Sterling gives us a $25 gift card from Barnes & Noble, and that the superintendent awards the students a certificate of achievement. So without further ado, I'd like to announce the winners. Our kindergarten winner this year from Valesgate School is Mr. Jonathan Racinos. Jonathan? Second grade winner from Valesgate School again is Miss Emily Negrinell.
Our third grade winner from Meadow Hill School is Miss Evelyn Gomez. I don't believe Evelyn is present at the moment, but when she arrives, we'll give her a gift. From fourth grade, from Meadow Hill School, is Miss Mia Rickettelli. Mia, Mia, is that right? And our final winner, last but not least, from fifth grade at New Winter School, is David Romero. I'd like to thank the parents, too, for supporting our efforts. Next, we are recognizing Ms. Judith Cooper, who is a National Board Certified Teacher, who is on the faculty in the Science Department at Newburgh Free Academy. This year, Ms. Cooper successfully completed the requirements for the prestigious National Board Certification and became a National Board Certified Teacher with the National Board for Professional Standards. The National Board Certification process is a very challenging journey a teacher undertakes to analyze his or her own teaching techniques and practices and to find ways to improve his or her teaching techniques and to achieve maximum understanding by the students. Ms. Cooper was supported throughout her year-long certification journey by the Newburgh Teachers Association and by the Newburgh and Large City School District to paid professional development leave days as well as loan materials and equipment as needed. Ms. Cooper met new challenges, developed innovative projects for her lessons, and had the opportunity to learn and apply a variety of strategies and techniques that enhanced her ability to bring content to her students. The overreaching goal of the National Support Certification is to promote the best teaching standards for the student's learning process. Ms. Cooper has expressed that attaining the National Board Certification was demanding at times, and that she is very glad that she has persevered and successfully completed the process, and so has the number of students. Mrs. Cooper, for the biggest benefit is for her students, and that is the reason why she teaches. On behalf of the Board of Education, congratulations to Ms. Cooper on this special occasion. I would like to ask Ms. Cooper to come to the front to receive a certificate in recognition of her achievement.
just want to say that uh, because of the switch in board uh, meeting tonight, from last night to tonight, we had a number of other awards to hand out to tonight, but they're going to have to go to next month because of conflicts. Every time we go to change a meeting here, we run into many conflicts. So there were a number of other students that were going to receive awards tonight, but they will be on for next month. Uh, next report is from Armin, Damon, and McMorty, and the district architects. Good evening, and thank you. Um, I thought I would add uh, just a few brief comments with regards to the report that was provided in your board packet that was dated May 16th. There have been a few um, changes since then that I wanted to make you aware of. We also did receive the bids today for the Temple Hill Entry Stair Replacement Project. I know there's a resolution that's been provided, and I wanted to pass out the uh, recommendation letter that's been provided by the architect, and I would also provide you with the bid results. A couple of things that um, have transpired since the report was done. Um, we have um, wrapped up our preliminary review of the budgets, and we will be providing information to you with regard to the uh, findings of that uh, work. I am happy to report that we do have uh, savings that we will be rolling forward that the district will be able to use to fund some of the additional or expanded scope projects that you've identified together with some of the new projects that have been identified. So I'll be giving the detail with regard to that as far as our preliminary findings. Uh, we originally had talked about having a power shutdown itself so we could do the conversion from the old system to the new system. We elected to postpone that until after the district is done serving meals. There were a number of freezers and coolers there that we didn't want to impact and it didn't think it was prudent to try to move the food or run the risk of uh, losing any food products. So we elected not to do that uh, power shutdown over the Memorial holiday. Um, the other item I have, we, we have received the okay from SED. We will be advertising the GAMS B-Wing project together with the admin area and a couple of other projects that we're going to be doing along with that. I expect the advertisement to go to the district this Friday, and then we would be receiving bids um, in time for presentation at the board workshop in June, and for your uh, review and approval at the board meeting in June. Um, and those are really, the, I guess, the only updates I have since the report was issued. I don't know if there's any other questions that came up. Um, I know there were a few that we responded to via email. If there's any other questions there, if not, I'll hand out the uh, recommendation letters that have been provided for the mental health data project. Questions for Mr. Damon at this time? The, um, the bid results, we had two bidders for the replacement of the uh, Temple Hill Entry Stair. You may recall this was a project that was not originally contemplated. It was added as kind of a health and safety issue due to the deterioration of the stair treads. Um, this is a good example of one of the projects that's been funded by savings that have been realized to date. Uh, the two bidders uh, that proposed for this project are both um, currently working in the district, Profex and Key Interiors. Um, Profex is a low bidder with a base bid of 55000 a uh, key interior space bid was $60,000. Um, alternate one, which we are recommending for an award, was a $3,900 alternate for Profex and a $5,000 alternate for key interiors. So the project is being recommended for award to the lowest responsible bidder, base bid plus alternate number one. Uh, we did take a second alternate, which was a lump sum proposal for the um, replacement of some additional sidewalk panels. We thought we would hold off on that, wait until we get the stairs work started, and then take a look and see if there are a few things we might want to add to this, but didn't feel that it was appropriate to add 40000 I don't think we need to do that, that much extra work. So that's the recommendation with regard to that. Okay. I know that's, I believe that's on your agenda as um, item D. Yes, correct. Any questions for Mr. Damon about this <coughs> resolution or the backup documentation?
That's all we have for this section of the agenda, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Pisa. Our next item on the agenda is public discussion and comment on agenda items. Anyone wishing to speak on agenda items, please step to the podium and give your name and address. Next item on the agenda is from the board president. This evening I have a resolution to approve the adoption of revised policy number 5201, secondary schools course credit on one reading. Can I have a motion? Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. Nancy? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Gasly? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yes. Mr. Gucci? Yes. Next item on the agenda is from the superintendent. The first resolution is A, Resolution A, to approve facilities project change orders associated with approved projects. NFA re renovation, NFA auto body project, HOH renovation, GAMS renovation, Foster Town School Gym floor replacement, and Heritage exterior wall and roof alterations project. I have a motion. So, second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Gasly? Yes. Mr. Whitwell? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. Resolution B is to award the contract for the district's capital construction project at Horizons on the Hudson, masonry and concrete restoration. I have a motion. Right. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Gasly? Yes. Mr. Whitwell? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. Resolution C is to award the contract for the district's capital construction project at Newburgh Free Academy main campus, which is masonry and steel lintels. Thank you. Motion? Questions or comments? <coughs> Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Gasly? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Ms. Wichert? Yes. Resolution D is to award the contract for the district's capital construction project at Temple Hill Elementary School, which is the Temple Hill entry stair replacement. We're opening on 5-30-12. Can I have a motion? Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Gasly? Yes. Mr. Woodhall? Yep. Mr. Wichert? Yes. Resolution E is to amend and extend an existing agreement with CSR to provide architectural and engineering services for the renovation of the dish room at Newburgh Tree Academy main campus. Questions or comments? Ms. Prokash. Yes, I'd like to uh, table the for discussion in uh, executive session. Can I have a motion to title resolution E? Second. Roll call. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Resolution F to amend and extend an existing agreement with CSR to provide architectural and engineering services for the conversion of the existing weight room at the Work Free Academy main campus into a new girls' locker room. I have a motion. Second. Questions or comments? Ms. Prokash. I'd like to table this one also. Make a motion to table resolution F. Second. Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Gasly? 
Yes. Yes. Resolution G to amend and extend an existing agreement with CSR to provide architectural and engineering services for interior renovations for the Newburgh Free Academy main campus library. I have a motion. So questions or comments? Ms. Prokash. I'd like to table this one to for executive session. I have a motion to table resolution G. Second. Roll call, please. <coughs> Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Benison? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. Resolution H is to approve the 2012-2013 County of Orange Arts Grant application submitted by the Newburgh Free Library to Orange County Tourism. I have a motion. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Mr. Livingston? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Mr. Wilhoff? Yes. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Thank you, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Pizzo. Our next item on the agenda is from the Assistant Superintendent for Student Intervention and Support Services. Thank you, Madam President. <clears throat> the, the first item is a, uh, the recommendations from the Committees on Special Education. Can I have a motion? Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Mr. Levinsky? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Mr. Benson? Yes. Mr. Wilhelm? Yes. Mr. Chief? Yes. Item B is a resolution to authorize the superintendent of schools to execute an agreement with Brayside Camp for Project Hope students to attend a one week camp program. The funding source is a 2011 12 making event to grant. Can I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinsky? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Mr. Benson? Yes. Mr. Redwall? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. IMC is a resolution to authorize the superintendent of schools to execute an agreement with the County of Orange for preschool services as required by the district's special education department for the 2012-13 school year. The funding source is the pre-K special education funded programs. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Benson? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. Item D is a resolution to approve facility use requests from Foster Town PTC and from the Orange County Parks Department. I have a motion. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinsky? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Perpatch? Yes. Mr. Bensley? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Mr. Richard? Yes. Thank you, Madam President. That concludes my items. Thank you, Dr. Noriega. The next item on the agenda is from the Assistant Superintendent for Curriculum and Instruction. Thank you, Madam President. The first item is a resolution to authorize the Superintendent of Schools to execute an agreement with Black Rock Forest Consortium to conduct a two-week science, math, engineering, and technology program at their alternate learning site. Funding source is Title I, Part A. May I have a motion? So moved. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Perkraft? Yes. Mr. Benson? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. The next item is a resolution to authorize the superintendent of schools to approve a one week residency in the science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM program for the district students and staff members at SUNY Albany Center for Urban Youth and Technology College of Nanoscale Science and Engineering from July 8th through the 14th, 2012. Funding source, Title I, Part A. Can I have a motion? Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinsky? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Perkash? Yes. Mr. Benson? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Mr. Richard? Yes. 
The next item is a resolution to approve the participation of the NFA Air Force Junior ROTC Drill Team to attend a summer leadership camp at the New York Military Academy in Cornwall, New York from June 22nd through the 28th, 2012. Funding source, HQ, JROTC. Motion. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Mr. Weberstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McNamee? Yes. Mr. Fairfax? Yes. Mr. Wentworth? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Mr. Wentworth? Yes. My next item is a resolution to designate October 2012 as parent and family involvement month. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Yes. Mr. Wilson? Yes. Mr. Wilson? What types of activities are going to be engaged in? Are we just declaring it the month or is it just specific to what we're going to be trying to do to engage parents in the world? It's, it's recognized across the state as the, as the month for a parent and family to, uh, for, to allow the district to highlight the different types of programs that we currently offer and those that we plan to offer. Uh, such as highlighting our parent university. Ms. Peterson is doing, doing a lot of different uh, activities uh, in collaboration with a lot of the state funded networks. And she, this is an opportunity for us to not only highlight those programs, but also recognize the parents that participate and provide a lot of support to the school district as well as the other family members. So it, it's just, it's a really nice opportunity for us to highlight those things and recognize those people that have done such a great job in working with our, our students in, in the school district. So it's not there's really no charge to get parents that aren't involved in that. Oh, there, there's a big part of that, okay. absolutely. Because the reason I bring it up is because I know that New York State as a whole has on September 20th, dads take their child to school day. Mm -hmm. um, and I noticed that we don't actually engage in that in this district. Um, I'd like to try to see that happen. In fact, I was just having a meeting this morning talking about that. So uh, I'd like to try to see if we can incorporate some, some more activities like that. And, and they provide you know, strategies and suggestions and, and alternatives and programs that can be offered. So wonderful. Mrs. Plattsburgh actually sent us the information uh, to research and to look into that. So uh, we'll be working with Ms. Peterson and a few of the other senior staff members to see what we can do about getting that out to our account <coughs> as well. Thanks for the uh, information. And also, Mr. Lawson, we'd be happy to work with Mrs. Peterson so uh, she will let all of the board members know what specific activities she has planned for that month. She's the coordinator for that. Any other questions or comments on the site? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Perkoff? Yes. Mr. Benson? Yes. Mr. Wendell? Yes. Mr. Wichita? Yes. The last item is a resolution to approve conference requests. I have a motion. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mr. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Perkoff? Yes. Mr. Benson? Yes. Mr. Wendell? Yes. Mr. Wichita? Yes. That concludes my items, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Forget. Our next item on the agenda is from the Assistant Superintendent of Finance. He's here this evening. There, there will be me tonight. Thank you, Mr. Forget. Resolution A is to authorize the superintendent of schools to execute an agreement with the Newburgh Mall for inline space to operate a satellite location of the Newburgh Free Library for the period of June 1, 2012. December 31, 2012. Can I have a motion? So Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Madison? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Perkoff? Yes. Mr. Benson? Yes. Mr. Wendell? Yes. Ms. Richard? Yes. Resolution B is to authorize the board president to execute an agreement with the Orange Ulster Board of Cooperative Education Services to lease the West Street School in conjunction with BOCI Special Ed and other educational programs for the period of July 1, 2012 to June 30, 2017. I have a motion. Questions or comments? 
Roll call, please. Mr. Dawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Vincent? Yes. Mr. Whitmore? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. Resolution C is to authorize the superintendent of schools to execute an agreement with Abraham's Table Team for the Summer Food Service Program. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Carcott? Yes. Mr. Benson? Yes. Mr. Rennell? Yes. Ms. Gouchin? Yes. Resolution D is to authorize the board president to execute an agreement with the Devereaux Foundation to provide appropriate educational services to students with disabilities. I have a motion. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Vance? Yes. Mr. Whitmore? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. Resolution E is to authorize the board president to execute an agreement with the Family Empowerment Council Incorporated <coughs> to provide day habilitation services to students for the 2011-2012 school year. I have a motion. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mrs. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Vesley? Yes. Mr. Whitwell? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. <coughs> Resolution F is to authorize the Board President to execute an agreement with the Family Empowerment Council Incorporated to provide day rehabilitation services to students for the 2012-2013 school year. I have a motion. Resolution K is to authorize payment of property property tax refunds as a result of court orders. I have a motion. No move. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Redenstein? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Besson? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Ms. Gucci? Yes. Resolution H is to approve bids. Number one is the Number 1214 Cafeteria Smallwares, number two is 1215 Student Planners, and number three is 1216 Cafeteria Health. Motion? So Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Gessen? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Mr. Chairman? Yes. <coughs> Resolution I is to declare library book surplus and obsolete and to approve disposition of the same. I have a motion. No. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Whitehall? Yes. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Yes. Resolution J is to accept bills and reports. I have a motion. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Mr. Prokash? Yes. Mr. Wesley? Yes. Mr. Whittle? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. That completes the finance report, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Levinson. <coughs> item on the agenda is from the Assistant Superintendent for Human Resources. Thank you, Madam President. On the Human Resources agenda, items A through K, we have on the professional side, home teacher appointments, return from leave of absence, leave of absence, retirements, Schedule J appointment, and on the civil service side, we have appointments, change of status, change of location, retirements, resignation, college workers, and former employees who passed away. Motion? So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Yes, Mr. Lewis. Well, there are only teaching appointments. Uh, 
I think I asked uh, last week if we could break the students out of the categories of like suspended or medical, etc. It seems to me that uh, all of these students deserve more than two hours of study. I mean, just because it's sanctioned by the state, uh, we don't have to stick with the schedule. As I have stated on last week's workshop, these students already are two, three, four grades behind. In two hours of home instruction is only pushing further and further behind. These students are home and they're involved in unsupervised activity. Just last week in every local newspaper, there was, a, there was a, an arrest being made at Downing Park a 15-year-old and a 17-year-old. I wonder if there were our suspended students. And I would wish that someone would look into it to make sure that our students were not involved in that type of behavior while they were supposed to be on home teaching. There are several community organizations that the board could use, I think, to move this program along. We need an alternative setting for these kids. And even in today's news media, the Times Herald Record stated that New York State received a waiver on the No Child Left Behind mandate. Therefore, that should be more funding for alternative education. So I'm going to vote no on this uh, resolution because I think it's a waste of money of you uh, teachers to teach each other for two hours. Do you want item A separated from the rest of the yes. items? Yes, I thought they told me we had done it. Yes. I have a motion to have um, item A of the human resources agenda separated from the rest of these items. So moved. Roll call. Mr. Dawson? Yes. Mr. Dempsey? Yes. Yes. Mrs. Patrick? Yes. Mrs. Prochak? Yes. Mr. Benson? Yes. Mr. Wedmore? Yes. Mr. Wedmore? Yes. Mrs. Yes. Langer, if you could ask for a resolution just on item A. Yeah. Um, the first resolution then would be for only item A by itself, home teacher appointments. Mm -hmm. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Mr. Levinsky? Yes. Mr. Lewis? No. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Ms. Perfect? No. Mr. Benson? No. Mr. Woodhouse? Yes. Mr. Chair? Yes. The remainder of the items would be um, items B through K. such as the transcripts from college, that type of thing. Between that time, the workshop date and the date to get this ready, they did submit the material. Thank you. Any other questions or comments on items B through K? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? Yes. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? Yes. Mrs. McAfee? Yes. Yes. Mr. Yes. Mr. Yes. 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 Resolution L is to approve professional appointments. Any motion? Okay. Questions or comments? Yes, Mr. Lewis. Again, again I must vote no on the on these appointments because in my opinion, I feel we are using discriminatory practices, going on hiring procedures by utilizing federal funds. This entire area needs to be investigated immediately by our legal team 
and give us their legal opinion once and for all. We have tried to get answers on this issue for two years. I'm recommending that the Board of Education direct our law firm to pursue this charge. Any other questions or comments? Roll call, please. Mr. Lawson? No. Mr. Levinson? Yes. Mr. Lewis? No. Mrs. McAfee? No. Ms. Prokash? No. Mr. Basley? No. Mr. Woodhull? No. Ms. Wichek? No. Yes. Mr. Bentley? 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 Yes. Mr.
Resolution B is to include the appointments for the cognitive abilities test, the COGAT test for the program at Horizons.
basketball team. Notice, one team told, decided totally not to show up last week. Did that send a message to you? There's even more chaos on the girls' uh, team to the extent that the coach has an unpaid black male just to handle the discipline problems. And he's not being paid. When will you understand that you have to make decisions for the benefit of the students and not use the contract as a way to justify your decisions? What about the children and their needs? And there comes a time when you have to ask yourself, are the decisions that I am making for the benefit of the children? I have been to most board meetings all year, and this is the third one. We're very dysfunctional. And the public really saw how dysfunctional you were during the budget process. What they didn't know is that that's the way it has been all year. You don't seem to have convictions on many topics, at least not enough to stand up and say, this is what I believe in. There is no discussion before the people because you've already discussed it behind closed doors. For example, that $400,000 that was on the table, you had already discussed that. And that it was, and that's against the open law meeting. Some of you don't even express an opinion. You just vote. Where is your conscience? Remember, you said that you wanted not to cut items that were close to the students, but you totally went against that opening statement by your president. Now, those were the three items. Now you hired a new principal at NFA. I'm not giving you any kudos for that because you came on board kicking and screaming. At one time, you didn't even have a job description. When you finally were told what an educational leader uh, resume should look like, you had no choice but to go outside the district. I know that some of you still wanted to hire an in-house person, but no one in the district has a resume. No one in the district has that resume, and that's a shame because only educational leaders with this type of resume can move the school forward. Now, there are two posted positions on the elementary and secondary interdisciplinary curriculum assessment. Your job description and qualifications do not align. There is no one in the district that is able to perform the job description. You use words such as knowledge of. You don't say that the person should have experience, and if the person you hire only has knowledge rather than the experience, then they will not be able to perform the job. And I believe that since there are no academic directors, or maybe there's a food if I don't know, these people should have the same knowledge and experience as the superintendent of curriculum and instruction. These people will be responsible for leadership directly above the principal. The person you hire should have first-hand experience across all content areas, not just one content area, because you, well, don't hire somebody from within just because you want to remain in the comfort zone. The person you hire should have had hands-on experience in working with staff at all levels and bring ideas that will allow the elementary and secondary staff to have new experiences. Think about the students in the district. Put the students first, no backroom deals like the ones mentioned above. Last but not least, I hope that the board realizes that the district is 41% is Hispanic, 29% African American, 28% Caucasian, and 2% other. And there is a need for something that I've been begging for all year, cultural diversity workshops on a continuous basis. Not have, not bring a speaker in and that's it. You need it on a continuous basis. Um, please make it a priority because many of the staff do not know the students that they come in town contact with. Many, many, rather than having your teacher administration sit in those boring, useless workshops, you could bring someone in with a plan for the entire year. Thank you. Thank you, Mrs. Wolf. Mr. Flickfoot. Good evening. I'm Mark Flickfoot. I teach at NFA. I am the uh, current head delegate at NFA, and I am the president-elect of the New York Teachers Association. I would like to talk about the issue of cell phones and electronic devices at the high school. This is a huge problem. If the district is concerned, and I'm sure you are, 
We have student achievement and improving student achievement. I think the easiest way to do that would be to eliminate those devices from building. It's a continual struggle with students who are just tempted as they are connected with their electronics. What we are doing now is not working. We tell students they can bring their devices into the building, but they can't use them. It's sort of like you know, telling a kid that they can have, uh, you know, ice cream and not eat it. It doesn't work. The temptation is too great. And it affects students on all levels, from the struggling students to those in honors and AP classes. Instead of paying attention to what's happening in the classroom, they are distracted, they're disconcerted, or they're totally not there because they're involved with texting and other things. There are districts that are doing things about this. Some districts have decided to block cell phone communications. My daughter is a teacher in the Bronx and her school does not allow them in the building. Currently at the high school, we see kids who are now in stage to have just these iPods, uh, you know, in the small little headsets, and now they have these big Dr. Dre headphones. It's become a status thing. And the building is trying to deal with this. The principal has, the acting principal is trying to make an effort to control this. Security is trying. Teachers in the classrooms are trying. But it is a losing battle. The kids are not connected with the education they need. Instead, they're listening to their beats. They're involved in their little dramas with all the students. And it is severely impacting their education. I think it is time for the district to have a realistic policy that will have an impact. I think it would behoove us all to investigate what can be done and what should be done, because this isn't working and it's hurting all of us, the students, the teachers, and our district. And it is a major problem. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Clifton. Debbie Kennedy. Anyone else that would like to speak on non-agenda items, please step to the podium and give your name and address. Be it further resolved that the board hereby recesses into executive session for the following purpose, to review the employment history of particular individuals and the employment history of particular corporations or firms. The board may take further action after the executive session. Yes. 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 Resolution 8. Yes, are, are we, are we, are we, are we, we have to put it back. We have to remove resolution E from the table first. Yeah, yeah, let's do all three. Um, yes, for a motion to remove resolutions E, F, and G from the table. So moved. Second. Yes. 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 Yes.
Yes. Yes. Yes. Yes. Resolution F. To amend and extend an existing agreement with CSR to provide architectural and engineering services for the conversion of the existing weight room at the Three Academy main campus into a new girls' locker room. I have a motion. So moved. Second. Questions or comments? Yes. 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 Yes